Hello everyone, it is me, Yuxuro Coyote here, and today we're going to play some another Doki Doki Literature Club. So, I skipped a little bit of the game because, you know, I just wanted to, you know, know. Sorry guys, I had to do that, but, <laughs> you know. Okay, so I'm going to play this, so I'm going to play more of this. Yeah. I want to upload, oh yeah, the part is here, okay. So I want to upload um, this thing quickly, but the problem is, I wanted to get face cam on. But like, I found one, but it doesn't work, and I'm trying to get it working here, and you know, it's, it's not working for me, so, it's a problem. Okay, let's get to the game. Okay, the whole way, my, my wanders back and forth, from the floor. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Well, I really have been spending every day after school in the literature club. So well, perhaps I'll give a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Oh, I see. Oh, okay, I'm just kidding. Okay. <coughs> Alright. I just need to make most of these circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with fighting a poem tonight. Alright, so I guess we're gonna start from poem. Alright, guys, I got a question for you. Who will you choose? I'll put a question right up in the eye over here, like around here, maybe. You answer the question, who would you choose? And, you know, let's just do this. Alright, so I've got a question for you, Papyrus. Who would you choose? Who would you choose? Because I'm, I'm going to let you choose. Who's the purple one? Yuri. Who's the pink one? Natsuki. And that's Sayori. Well, what color is he? <laughs> nah. The, the, the one with the bow. Alright. No. No, wait, okay. Okay, who will you choose? Uh, out of all three of them. Out of all of them. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, the one who hangs herself. What? <laughs> what? Who, who's the woman that hanged herself? Hey, no spoilers! <laughs> okay, okay, anyways, okay, let's just get back to the game, okay. Alright, so I guess I'm just gonna. Pick one word, this no. is gonna be a randomizer. Wait. If I pick one word, um, I'm gonna have to impress that person. No. Promise. Alright, so it does for Sayori, so that means I'm gonna have yeah, to pick I her. Yeah, I picked her, I picked her. Okay. I picked her, man. Yeah, sure, huh? Okay. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to... There's a little bit lag, as you can see, guys. But... Oh, I hate her. Oh. I hate her, too. So let's just impress her then. <coughs> Alright. Hmm. That was a pleasure dance. Okay. I'm gonna get it. There we go. Okay. No, oh, that's the determination. Oh, peace. Okay, games? Oh, no, that would have been sugar. Okay. Sugar. Okay. No, man. So we can do that, man. Sorry, okay. Okay. Two hearts. Wait. Okay, you're right, yeah, we got her. I told okay. you, I told you. Ribbon, because... Oh, no, 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 She's special problem. Chocolate. Comfort. Yeah, Thanks. again. Nibble imagination. Nope, okay. Th that's how Big words are for Yuri, probably. Okay. For some reason. <laughs> Hi again, Muggy. <gasps> how could you? Okay. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Haha. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Muggy. Huh? I hope this isn't over one no commitment to for you. Huh? Making you dive head first into literature when what? you're not a Oh, I think he's a <laughs> Oh come on, he like he deserves any slack slack, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry you told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year too. I don't even know if you plan on just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Whoa, no mercy. Natsuki, you're, 
you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in a club room. Natsuki Monica? finds herself... Ma oh yeah, Mon she Natsuki away. finds herself stuck between Monica and manga. Oh, manga is literature! I, I don't even know if it is. I do not know! Okay. Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry guys. Mugi always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Not really. No. No, that's not that. No, no. That's why why, why are you assuming us? Okay. Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> okay. You know, I, I, I was sloppy right now. Whoa! Whoa! whoa, whoa. What? You were sloppy? sloppy? You were sloppy girl? I'm whoa, sloppy man. Sloppy you. Oh, okay. You, not a girl. Oh, okay. I thought it was. Just go. You Oh, wow, okay. You're wrong. Okay, okay. He helps me with the busy work without me even asking. What? Like cooking, cleaning my room. What? How how dependable? What? Sayori, that's because it that's because your room is so messy, it's distracting. What? And you almost set your house on fire once. Uh, is is that so? <laughs> you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Oh come on, you and Muggy have been good friends too. Um. Sayori? Hmm? Ah. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she puts me into. Oh, oh! Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Okay. Wait, wait! Wait, wait, Sayori? No, wait, wait, Sayori! Eh, me? Eh, eh. me? Yeah. Eh. <laughs> um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Huh? Never mind. Sayori made made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Huh? Uh, what do I do? Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. Huh? I guess this means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Huh? Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. Huh? So any nice gesture from your from you is a pleasure. It's a, it's a pleasant surprise. Huh? It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Oh yeah, God. I don't. I won't make a big deal if you don't want it to be. All right. Well, here. What is it? Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I, that I thought you might enjoy. I don't like reading. No, it's wow, man. Okay, it's a sure. Then why are you playing this game? Okay. It's a short read, so it should no, keep like your attention, even like if books. you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want to. Uh-uh. Th this is... How is a girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiast... Uh, I can't even pronounce that. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to keep off, you know, kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Where's that the doesn't students? seem to be the case. Where's the students? You realize this is an after-school thing. Nobody, nobody stays in after school except for if you're going to club and this is their own club. <coughs> so you're already my um home. Okay, Sayori and oh, I don't know. It just shows the picture. It just shows the background. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already bur buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's room rummaging around in the closet. Uh, uh, yeah, she is doing whatever. Uh, Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down in the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related myself with this? I guess I could always read some of that book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Yeah, I could probably fall asleep right now. That's me! I close my eyes and end up sleeping. And on Sayori's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the clubs, though. 
Well, you can't give up. The festivals are a chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intentional. But it's not like that at all, you know? Ow! You just, need, you just need a way of showing that to everyone. Bleh. Something that speaks to your creative mind. To their creative mind. It doesn't yeah. solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we came up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative mind. What's this? Sarah is taking this really seriously. It's rare, to, it's rare to hear her. Yeah, doing it this time. Mm, that's a good point. In that case, you think food would do the trick? Great idea! <laughs> yeah, that is the best idea that somebody could come Ooh. up with. Oh, 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 yeah, I know. Because you love food too much. Okay, what kind? Ah, well, I guess we could. Cupcakes! Ah, good thinking. That's a key would love to do that. Ah, you're right. That's a key makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. How are they the best if I can't even taste them? That wasn't the eve. That wasn't why you suggested it. Cup cupcake cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Uh. Cupcakes is it then? I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Anyways. We still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. And therein lies... But therein lies an unexpected, unexpected reason to admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get in the... Get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what what is that would be like to see the world through her eyes. <gasps> she's too close. Ah, she's too close. Yeah, here we go. Whoa. <laughs> I, I opened my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly just fell out of my chair. <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. Does our school have a napping club? I wish. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Ah. Now that you're in a club, you're always gonna have less time for anime, you know. Well, actually, I don't care. You need to get used to it. Don't say that it's so loud. I glanced over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah, I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. <laughs> what I do best. Ow. That's a problem. Oh. What about you? You look out for me. you look out for me better than you look out for yourself. Oh. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Oh. Eh? Not every day. That's oh. not very convincing. How many days have passed week have you gone up on your screen hurt my eyes? That's that's a secret. I knew it. Come on. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sayori, it's written all over you. Eh? Eh. Sayori like glasses that. around her so Wow, see, that's stupid. Okay. Yeah. How is it even written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Yeah. Wait, Look, uh, your hair is sticking out all around. Yeah, that's just basically Huh? Uh. I have my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten out. Man, you really need to brush this. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. It's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't even straight either. And there's yes two it is! Look at it! Um, yeah, I don't even know. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right here. I try to wipe off the strain with my fingers. But, but nobody would notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie. Yeah, 
that's actually right. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. <laughs> Seriously, Sayori. Why do you even oh yeah, why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Eh? Eh? That's super mean! Yeah. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I started to button her blades from the top. I'm bothered. Once you see once you see how much better I love, you'll change your mind. Yeah. And then they're having this uh, moment. <laughs> this is this is so funny. What is? Hey, look at our hands again. Well, what? what in the actual you is that? What is this? Mm -hmm. Those look like socks. Okay. I was just what? I was just thinking how weird it, it was to have a friend who does these things kind of thing. Eh. But don't say that. You made me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay though. She I'm happy we're like this. She, she actually Aren't you? my mind. Uh, she don't see that. I, I it's guess. Weird. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? I still gotta fully close the button near her chest. Ow. Does this thing even fit you pro properly? Eh. It did when I bought it. Uh. <sighs> if you ever buttoned it, you you would have noticed sooner that it didn't fit you. What are you smiling about? It seems my, um, yeah, it, it got bigger again. Don't, don't say that out loud. Oh, oh my god. I think anyway, I you look much better now. So, huh? Why does it, it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer button off like that? But it's so... Oh, oh, wow. I just... Okay, that took me a while to get that joke. But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sir, Sayori, yeah, unbuttons her please for once more. Yes. You. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arm out and throws her around. So I keep it unbuttoned so that I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? Why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do those things like this. He'd take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. That's why I keep it on the button. No, I, no, that, no, oh. that's stupid. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. Eh? Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Eh? Jeez. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed early. Yeah. Earlier, yeah. yeah fine, yeah, fine. Yeah, it's a too. deal. Yay. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we than that we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Ah, uh, but I was joking this time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Eh? Wanna go suddenly some why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Eh? Yay! Muggy, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I feel the sounding deal. Uh, yeah. But, Sayori still probably retrieve a poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Y yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to something so embarrassing. I can't really find much inspiration since we're. I have never really done this. Well, now that every, not really. Yeah. Oh God! What? Well, okay. What looks evil about her, huh? That's okay. Okay. <laughs> well, now that, oh. well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Wait a minute. I can't wait. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on the. Wrinkled sheet of loops. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay. On the other hand, Monica wrote her in a conversation notebook. I can already see Monica's persistent writing yeah, handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri, yeah, as well reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Now of course we're gonna do what we picked ourselves. Sayori first. Sayori. 
I'm definitely not most comfortable sharing it with Sayori first. She's my good friend after all. Oh my goodness! This is so, so good, Muggy! Muggy! Uh, Muggy or Muggy? I don't even know. Okay. Eh? Eh? I love it! I had no idea you were such a good writer! Sayori, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. I'm sure Yuri's opinion has to be a little more constructive than this. Maybe even Natsuki's. Are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Or are you sure you don't like it because I wrote it? Eh? What? Why, I'm sure that's part of- Wow! I think- How could you? Yeah, I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? So when I read your poem, it's not like- it's not just a poem. It's a muggy poem! Ha! Wow! That is- that is- that is actually- that is actually good. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sayori hugs the sheet against her chest. You're so weird, Sayori. Yeah! I'm really happy you just- I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds of- It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Oh uh, well, of course. Yeah! I'm not really into it, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. Yeah. See, it's like I said before, Muggy. Deep down, you're not selfish at all, you know. Uh, Trying out new things like you know, this is something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her, and all. Yeah, and I'm gonna make sure that you have lots of fun here, okay? Yeah, that would be the way that would be the way of thanking you. Alright, thank you, you're okay. Alright, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, we're not the only ones! Yay! Yeah! And I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll go with the black ever. Oh, look, she's rushing. Okay, just go. Okay. Just go. Let's we'll see about that. Don't yeah, worry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see. Uh, oh, no, 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 you please. said it. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you... Okay, I don't know even read this. You guys, you guys can take the time. Pause the video. Pause the video and read it. I'm too lazy to read it, guys. Okay, now just... Me too. Just... Your dress. Sayori. This is just a guess, but... Did you wait until morning... Until this morning to write this? No. J just a little bit. Liar. You can't answer just a little bit. It's to a no, to a yes and no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little better about myself. Don't be mean. Yeah. I still tried my best. Uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. I made eggs and toast. What? Even though you were late to school. But we did, we're not talking about It's over. bad to skip breakfast. Yeah, I get all cranky. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. What? What? Anyway, thanks to sh thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's the best. Uh, yeah. But next time I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Now, uh, wait, I'll pick. Yeah, I'll because pick. she's the expert. Okay, you can pick the other one. Dang it. Mm. 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 
Yuri stares at the phone. A minute passes more than enough for her to finish reading. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. Look at that like, oh man, never mind. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Yeah. Hold on. Wait, wait. Okay. This is your first time reading a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after reading through it. Yeah. Ah, so it's that bad? No. Did I just raise my voice? Yes. Uh, I'm so sorry. Why are you blushing? Yuri buries her face in her, in her hands. Why? I can't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gone anywhere. Huh? It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um. I just had this specific writing habits are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think that most noticeable thing I recognize in new writers is that they try to make their style even deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up writing, yeah, writing styles separate from the topic matter and that they weren't meant the two together. What? What, what is happening right now? I don't Again, resort is both said style, yeah, okay. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There's so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Now it's like you can be a little bit based though. Based? How? Um well never mind. We shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love yeah. to share my thoughts and process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if it's a rare opportunity for her. Hey, okay. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't that supposed to be a little club? Uh, Ghost under the him. yeah yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to read it. Ghost under the light. The oh, okay. Whoa! Pause the video. Do it. I'm lazy. Okay, fine. You know what? Do it. Yeah. <laughs> the ladies. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. Yeah, you do. No, I'm just kidding. It's okay. good handwriting. It's just that it's cursive, which I can't read. Me it's too, it's, me it's too, hard to me read. Me okay. too, me too. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Uh, well, I just didn't read script very often. I actually think your headline is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I don't. I'll be I've honest. never read it. Since it was our first time sharing, I want to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Like food? Oh, I'm hungry now. Uh, stop! No! Get a hold of yourself. Okay, okay. Are you going to ghost story? Actually, the story isn't about ghosts at all, Muggy. Really? Yeah. I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you can only glance over it after all. But I remember these... Yeah. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm. Stop! Stop reading! No! <laughs> this is boring! Okay. That's a lot of... So I'm putting it that way. I haven't thought... I haven't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's really not... It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you think of that. Yeah. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I have to keep trying. Yeah. I'm 
counting on you. It's all I do. Okay. Hey, he's right there, boy. Okay, okay, just pick one. Just pick one. Okay. That's, That's a key or Monica. Okay. Yeah, come on, go. Just pick one. Just pick one! <laughs> pick one! <laughs> Look at that is solid. Just push one! Pick one! Keep! Oh, wait, what is this? Just kidding. Oh, wow, so you're going to go order, okay? Not what you mean? Oh, she likes soon dead, it's okay, I see. I see. Soon <laughs> soon okay, okay. Wait, what is that? Don't worry, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah. Well, it's about what, well, it's about what I expect of some of you. That's a little blunt. I bet you don't want to be. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. I'll it, pick it just didn't evoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your taste. Do you want to get smacked? I'll pass. Yeah, please. <sighs> yeah, you see, you know there's some dead alert. Okay. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you'll like it. Okay, let's read it. Okay, this one's easy. You yeah, just... that one's easy. Yay! Eagle can fly. Monkeys can climb. What? Oh, good monkey. Okay, Cricket, crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can speak. Cheetos can can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. That's horrible! Eh. I get you, you don't get them. You, okay, what, what what is it about? Like, you know. It's about it. It's about people doing something. It's about animals doing something. Oh, okay, so Just, you basically I don't try. get the point. I try, I try, I try. But, okay, I told you that you weren't gonna. Well, okay, okay. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. <laughs> what? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all, yeah, that stuff. So, people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Like that, it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do, you do great things really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. You see, you don't understand the point of it, word of, okay, so let's go. But the other nice thing about symbol writing is that it puts more weight on yeah. Like it's set up for a rhyme at the end, but it, yeah. I'll pick the other one too. No, there's just one, what's the point? Okay. Well, I'll pick it. So you did. Oh. I guess you went it and realized. Yeah. Mean. That's what that's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I decided to humor her with the last comment. I didn't really care about how old everyone is, but if Natsuki's keeps feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Oh, yeah, okay, just do it, just do it. I want to get this. Over. That that doesn't do anything. This doesn't do anything either. 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 That. Yeah, that does something. What does it do? You pick someone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, just, just just do it, just do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, just get me out of this nightmare. Okay. Another. Hi, Muggy. Buggy. <laughs> <laughs> What are you yeah, what's hey, going on? Yeah, Having a good time so far? No! Uh, yeah. No. Glad, good, glad to hear it. No. By the way, since you're new and everything, do you ever said, do you have any, do you, have, do you ever have any suggestions for the club, like, new activities or things we can do better? We can fight! What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm always listening, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. 
of course I'll be afraid to bring up things. I mean, yeah. How much better off you just going off the flow until I'm more settled in? Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Yeah. Uh -huh. Don't worry, Muggy. We're a little embarrassed today, today, you know. But it's sort of a barrier that we will all learn to get past. Don't so they she's not embarrassed? Right? Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like this one. It makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? Uh, you and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well, you may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm? Well, that may be the case, but maybe there's also some sim yeah, similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like you two... Uh, yeah, the two of you really care about each other, others' well-being. Even if you show in different ways, it ends up being more similar to than you think. So I think that's kind of that's kind of the vibe I get when reading your poem. Mm. You sure you're not reading it too much? Aha, <laughs> I could be. Mm. Oh gosh, I sound like eerie. <laughs> but in any case, Sayori's writing has yeah yeah. It's kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell that she's exploring with emo exploding with emotions like happiness and sadness. Yeah. yeah, that. Okay, guys. Well, this is gonna be the end of this episode. Thank you for watching. And I just, you know, I just figured out that um, every, you know, every poem you do, yeah, it just unlocks a little story. So, so there will be a new p next poem. So guys, yeah. yeah, so guys, tell me which, yeah, which person you want me to go after next, since ah. I got Sayori, so, just tell me which one you want me to go yeah. next, and, I guess, Ow. I'll see ya in the next episode. Hey, hey, subscribe to my channel! Yeah, subscribe to his channel, I'll leave him the link below, and also, okay, you know, I'm not even okay, push that subscribe button. I'm not even just supposed to watch this, Play this. Okay. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. So, you, go, guys, if you're new here, subscribe and yeah, and yeah, click the bell if you want if you don't want to miss a video. And well, you know, and leave a like if you're not new here. Come I'll on. Shout out. Yeah, and shout out to my brother. Okay. No, I'll give y'all a shout out. Yeah.